Hello Terrarians, Trix here, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3, we are back in the 1.3 Let's Play world, and right off the bat you may notice that something is a little bit different with the vault, as I like to call it. Wait, what, what, what could it be, Trix? It kind of looks like an actual vault. Vault 101, to be precise, yes! This, this is, right here is going to be our next house. Uh, we're going to move out of the tree house because even though it looks cool, it's not very practical. And we're going to move about 50 blocks over here to the west into a new house that I'm going to call the vault. And st I'm going to stylize it like a fallout vault. But that's going to be an on Oh, nailed it on the first shot. That is going to be an ongoing project throughout the next few episodes. I don't know if I'll actually have an episode dedicated to it, but it might just change over time but I'm going to be working on that uh, some other changes we have the meteorite armor I equipped some dyes I dyed it all purple ooze because I think that that looks really cool I'll get in some better lighting so that you can actually see it I think it looks awesome I changed the dye on the shield of Cthulhu from, from blue to red and then also I dyed our topaz hook with negative dye but anyways the, uh, one other thing we have to do, I noticed that we have 15 amethyst, which means that if we go to the Terraria wiki, wiki, there it is, welcome to the official Terraria wiki, the Terraria wiki. Uh, if we look up the hooks, amethyst hook is actually the second highest, I believe. Um... Oh wait, no, never mind. It's even worse than the topaz. Never mind. Scratch all that. We are not doing that. Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, I have one ruby and I have a whole bunch of platinum that we need to smelt down. And you may see where I'm going with this, but for you homeschoolers out there, we are going to make ourselves a crown. Yep. And that means we can do with it is we can make ourselves a slime crown, which means we are going to fight the king slime. Also, I uh, put the uh, umbrella away because I have the rocket boots and stuff now. And also, um, we'll get a magic. We'll put a magic mirror in that spot once we get one, <sighs> which is going to be a while because I still can't find one. And then also, I made a whole bunch of meteorite shot with. <clears throat> with some leftover meteor that we had. So, let's see here. We can make ourselves a better pickaxe, actually. I think we should do that. So, platinum crown, awesome. Let's get some wood, and then we will make ourselves a platinum pickaxe, because that is something that we desperately need. We desperately need an upgrade to our silver pickaxe, because this is not the best, um, not the best pickaxe. So where do we go for it? Boom! Platinum pickaxe. That is 59%. This is 45%. Soon enough we'll have a shadow scale pickaxe, but that won't be for a little while. Um, so let me just put this stuff away real quick in the ores chest right here. There we go. So we have the crown. We got ourselves a brand new pickaxe. Where are our tools? There it is. Boom. Okay, now we just need to go down to our demon altar and make ourselves the slime crown. And then we are going to fight the king slime. It's going to be great. I'll, get, I'll grab a couple iron skin potions before we do that as well. So let's just head down here to the demon altar. Ah, here we are. There's two tombstones down here. Also, depending on how much time we have, um... We can hunt for floating islands using a meteorite shot and try to get to them. I don't know how successful it will be, though. But anyways, we have the slime crown made now. Just going to favor all those real quick. Um, so let's see here. What? I'm going to need to move this gel over here. Hello, worm. That was interesting. We got a whoopee cushion last episode. That, that was something that happened. That was pretty cool. Where's my ammo chest? There it is. Okay, okay. Oh, forgot to go offline on Steam. Hello, uh, Tom the Cube Gaming. Nice to see ya. 
So let's see here. Let's grab ourselves. A, I'll just actually grab maybe. Let me see here. We'll need a swiftness potion. Do we have iron skin potions? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get the materials. We need a day bloom, a bottle of water, and lead or iron ore. I believe is how we make it. And we just had to... Dang it. You've got to be kidding me. Well, we can't make any iron skin potions, unfortunately, because we don't have any ore. So, uh, this will have to do. It's only the king slime. We shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words. Did I put away my surface potion? I did not. Thank goodness. Let's go find ourselves an area. I think we can find him in the desert. And that should be pretty good. So let's just head over there. We are at 400 health from last episode. I just realized I should probably get the umbrella. Because I won't always have the rocket boots. That was a mistake. We will get the umbrella back soon. Or we can use that um, trick to... Oh boy, this, okay, finding him in the desert might, might be a bad idea. Because there's so many antlions and stuff. Anyways, alright, I think we're ready. Let's buff up and just summon him. We'll see how it goes. Alright, where are you, big boy? There. You, oh, he actually appears on the map. That's awesome. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. He can teleport. Um, in expert mode, this is going to be a bit more difficult. We're going to meter right. Meteor shot him. Those are some interesting slimes. I haven't seen those slimes before in any version of the game. Thankfully, oh wait, he's mostly down on health. He's getting down on health, I mean. Um, what was I going to say? I fought him before with my friends, and he is very hard with four people on the server and only two people actually fighting him. But we got through it eventually. It's kind of like the Great Depression, in a sense, maybe, a sense that there are a couple people trying to fix things and everybody else just sitting around. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I wasn't good in 8th grade history. Anyways, he is teleporting again. There we go. 252 health. Let us heal up. Oh boy, he is. He is going everywhere. Some might say that he is going postal. Like in that episode of what is what what show is that an episode of um I think I think it's Psych where they have to visit the post office for something and the guy there is like oh man Tom totally went postal today he brought donuts for the whole office and Sean I think I think it's Psych I can't remember it might have been oh wait no yeah it's Brooklyn Nine Nine Brooklyn Nine Nine there we go. But they're like, man, to oh, wait, wait, wait. we defeated him. But anyways, as I was saying, more important matters. Forgot I had a yo-yo. More important matters. Tom totally went postal on the whole office, brought donuts for everybody, man. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad he went postal. And Andy Samberg's like, do you guys know what going postal means? And then the post office workers, being members of a cop show and also another government agency, are made out to be extremely stupid and just kind of get in the way, like the FBI in every cop show. They're like, oh yeah, it means he did something really nice for us, because he's a postal worker. And awkward silence ensues. And then they talk about people going postal again, without realizing what going postal actually means. But anyways, guys, more important matters. We got a treasure bag from the King Slime, and I believe that we can get a mount. So let's see what's in it. <sighs> Solidifier, what is that? Okay, hard oil gel, slime... What? awesome we are going to equip that right up there that is awesome slimes become friendly does the, oh, we're not gonna be suffering one damage anymore that's awesome oh oh thank goodness so glad we didn't make that topaz hook we got ourselves the slime hook oh come, come on get rid of the topaz hook where, where oh okay i got it i got it yep so now we have three hooks I don't like that negative die on the slime hook. But anyways, three oh man, this this thing has so much farther reach. That is so great. Solidifier. We got the ninja hood and ninja pants and the slimy saddle, or someone's a rideable slime mount. Let's equip that. Boom achievement, the cavalry, and I believe if I press R 
Awesome. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, come on. Don't hurt the slime, friends. Slimes are friends, not food. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, wait, can I still... I'm still getting fall damage, but this is still really cool. This is awesome. This is great. Man, this slime mount is awesome. I forgot, dang it. I forgot to do the mouse tracker for the last two episodes now. And so, yeah. Forgot about that. I'll have it in the next episode, though. I also, I, I also kind of use that as a timer, so... I should probably... I should probably do something about that. But anyways, it's been maybe 13 minutes or so. Um, let's put away the clothes. The ninja, we didn't get the pants or anything. And we'll put away the hook. We got two gold. Man, the king slime was really easy. I want to fight him again. Uh, where does the hook go? I'll put it in tools. And then we'll put the solidifier away. We'll make ourselves a crafting room soon in the vault. The vault's going to be cool. I promise. It's going to be a great house. We're going to live in it for a while. Because it's awesome. We'll just stick the solidifier. Um in here because it looks like there's room yep don't know what we can craft with it don't really care um anyways we got a slime mount awesome and we can fit through the gate of the vault but anyways let's see here let's hunt for some floating islands if we get any meteorite shot bouncing back then oh sweet okay good the umbrella still works up here on the slime mount this is pretty cool. I'm satisfied with this. Anyways, let's see here. We can also use a... No, we can't actually use a water bolt. Um, Alright, let's just get off our mount. And fire bullets slightly ahead of us. Occasionally. We'll fire off one or two or so. Until we see one ricochet. We actually need to fire them above us. Like so. There we go. If we see one ricochet, then we'll know that there's a uh, floating island above us. So that'll be useful. And then we can get some blocks and build up to it. And I probably should have brought blocks with me, but we'll see. We'll hunt until the end of the day. And if we get any ricochets back, then we'll know there's a floating island. Unless, of course, an enemy gets in the way. But I think meteorite shot goes through. Yeah, meteorite shot goes through enemies, which is good. And it bounces back. And let's say nerf down 1.3. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Please, please don't be... Oh, speaking of the corruption, we need to fight the Eater of Worlds soon, because he is pretty essential. Okay, get, get, go, go, go away. Go away. Seriously, go away. Stupid, stupid. There we go. All right. Um... Anyways, continuing the hunt for Red Octo- I mean the Floating Islands. Still haven't gotten the bounce back, but this is a large world, so they are quite high. Might just be taking time for them to bounce back. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, this is actually- I should have brought a recall potion, because this is dangerous. Okay, we're gonna hunt for Floating Islands in a future episode, because that is boring, and I don't know how to commentate over that. Also, we're dying severely by stuff. Anyways, guys, this episode... Oh, yeah, we have a slime mount now. That's awesome. We're just gonna bounce home. And cannonball. And we have friendly slimes. Oh, I'm gonna fight the king slime a whole bunch more times off camera and stuff, because he was fun. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 TXW. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. Um... I'll be working on the vault off camera and some on, cam on camera probably, but it's going to be pretty cool when we finish up. Next episode of Terraria will be Wednesday. If you like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. Brand new series coming out tomorrow. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.